Yo, what's going on, y'all? Shiki Chic, why to be why? Here to give y'all a brief little introduction. So what we gonna be doing from now on is creating these workout tutorials. I'ma infuse, cause these workouts is workouts. At the end of the day, a workout is a workout. A push-up is a push-up. He can tell you how to do a push-up. She can tell you how to do a push-up. A push-up is always gonna be a push-up. A dip is always gonna be a dip. But the thing about it, the thing that makes people specific and unique is their, their philosophy and why they do it. So, with that said, be ready for a whole lot of Shiki Chic workouts and Shiki Chic workout philosophies. Why don't you why your world is yours? This is about increasing your personal autonomy, your personal independence, increasing your ability to perform better in this universe. Understand there is something called higher performance and lesser performance. There is increased efficiency and lowered efficiency. At the end of the day, that which decreases your efficiency, something might increase your efficiency, right? Like drugs or some shit, but at the same time, it hinders your performance in other areas. What we want to be able to do is be free of everything and be able to be our best selves without any type of external supplications, you feel me? So with that said, we're going to jump into it. Today, this is really for the beginners. I'm not going to jump to doing crazy stuff. This is really for the beginners, you feel me? So what we're going to do is basics. I call it the basics. Push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. You heard? This is the PPP. Push, pull, push. Push meaning push-ups, pull meaning pull-ups, and back to the push, the dips. We're pushing, right? So this is basic strength exercise. Anybody can learn how to do this. Listen, if you're about to start this and then stop this and start this and stop this, I recommend that you don't even start because you're going to look stupid and you're going to feel stupid. But this is for the people that really just want to understand the best way to get stronger and become a better functioning human. You feel me? Don't come in the game thinking that, oh, I'm going to do this for the girls or I'm going to do this to get a certain look. You feel me? And then when you realize how much work is actually involved, you have to be so attached to becoming a better person that all the work doesn't even fucking matter. The work just makes it all the better. It's like, word, I get to do this and this happens? Bet, let me do more of this. Exactly exactly so like i said don't come in here with no half heart don't come in here trying to impress people because you a sucker if you do that you heard whatever you are your world is yours whatever you are training style whatever you are this is going to evolve as it goes i don't even know what to call it but we out here doing what we do shouts out to you without further ado we're gonna get into this so we're gonna start off with the dips so we're here to learn how to do the dips right dips were actually my worst and my least proficient move for a very long time so it was easier for me to do push-ups it's easier for me to do pull-ups but dips i always struggle with right so i made sure to learn this and in learning my weakest point i learned a lot of ways to maximize my efficiency in doing it right so i always understood that the shoulders were very fragile they're the most mobile joint you have i'm not going to get too much into that right now but they're the most flexible and mobile joint so you have to really protect them because their mobility and free range and dynamics gets traded off for their instability you feel me? So you gotta really learn how to get stable in your shoulders. Now with the dip, it's a great compound exercise and there's two types. Well, let's just start with the warm up. The warm up is gonna be something I'll call jump and pumps. You start with a little bend, you don't start locked out. You start with a little bend, you catch yourself and you pump. Call it jump and pumps. Pump. So it's really like about 20%, 10%, up to 30% of a dip. See what I'm saying? Pump. What this gets you going, what this gets you doing is to warm up the push muscles and recruit the push muscles before you go for extreme depth. This is warming up your nervous system, this is warming up your body, priming your muscles for movement, getting your joints ready. Because you don't wanna, it's winter time. You don't wanna, you can't even start the car. You have to let the car warm up before it could even go anywhere, or else you're gonna mess up the engine, you're gonna mess up the parts. So we gotta generate heat and generate energy in these areas that we're about to use so that when we start to increase the load, increase the weight, increase the demand, it can sustain itself without damaging itself. So my recommendation is do about 10 jumping pumps, relax, roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders. The thing about it, we have to lock in and become mind, muscle, mind, body connection. You have to drift within. Don't just move to move because you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Listen to your body. You know what I'm saying? So go back at it. Jump and pump. Relax. Pump. See, notice I'm tall as hell. I'm 
I'm starting with a little bend and I got a little bit of leverage. I'm not, I'm not up here doing that. It's not gonna be enough. You know what I mean? Challenge yourself. Learn to love the challenge. It's like, word, I get to do this. If I do more of this, I'm gonna be better at that. Say less, right? Your world is yours. Jump and pump. Pump, pump. Next warm up you could do for these dips and to get your dip strength up, is just do arm stands. Grab the bar, stand on your arms. Feel me? Let's do that. 10 second isometrics. Relax, five seconds rest. Two, three, four, five. Go right back at it, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. See, this is gonna generate, like I said, the energy into the muscles that we're about to use. So these are good warm-ups. You know, if you can't do a full dip, it took me a while. I'm gonna show you a video right now. my forte, right? But like I told son earlier, when I mean, it's your first time back, well, you know you're not well practicing something. You see niggas going crazy, people going crazy doing 100 reps. You gotta tap in with yourself and say, I respect myself, I honor myself, and I love myself. Enough to take time with myself, you know what I mean? So, one good dip is better than five fucked up ones. So, shout out to Uli for motivating this. What's up? Bow. Boom. And that's called money in the bank. I'm saying every time I put a penny in a piggy bank, there's money in the bank. Facts. Pennies become hundreds, hundreds become thousands. Hundred million, you <laughs> The struggle was real. The struggle was very, the struggle was crazy real, exactly. Now, I'm gonna show you what I could really do in a few. But remember, we all start from somewhere, so don't, don't let people's perceptions fuck with you, because people, most people can't even do a fucking push-up. So at the end of the day, fuck them, you feel me? Real talk. Why to be wild, we keep this shit candy. You heard? One more, 10 second hold. One, if you wanna get your abs right, get a knee tuck in it, and you'll be better off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now that we got that going, I'm gonna show y'all how to get into these dips. There's two types of dips. There's a tricep dip, and a chest dip. Tricep dip is really when you like this. Straight up and straight down. So, boom. That's a tricep dip. Where you're more perpendicular to the ground or more vertical. Now, a chest dip is gonna look like a little bit lean forward. So what you do is lean at an angle. Instead of your, your pelvis and your spine pointing straight down, now, your tailbone is at an angle, and you insert at an angle. This recruits more of the chest. As you can see, what that's gonna do is create more rips. I think I should take my shirt off. I'm gonna take my shirt off, I'll be right back. So we, so we back with it. We back with it. As you can see, this is gonna take a lot of work. Right now, believe it or not, I'm on bulk season. See, I'm not afraid to show y'all. See, see this right here? Shiki bulk mode. Cause when Shiki gets super lean, you are gonna see every, you can see a lot. You can see a lot. But you are gonna see everything when I decide to shred. Right now I'm on bulk mode, but I smart bulk. If you wanna learn how to gain weight, gain mass if you're a skinny person, or if you wanna learn how to lose weight and you're a fat person, you're trying to get shredded, I'll really teach you how to do it. Sign up for my Whatever You Are online coaching program where we come up with custom nutrition, custom workout programs, detailed, fully thorough, everything, so that you can really get your goals right. Anyway, we're going back to it. I'm gonna show you how these tricep dips versus the chest dips again. So again, the difference between a tricep dip and a chest dip is whether or not your spine is perpendicular or at an angle. See, as you see, maybe you can see it, I can feel it. The chest gets more active when I'm in this hole, right? Before I even go down. So, pay attention to what muscles are being recruited, primary muscles and secondary muscles, 
and from there you'll be able to identify what you're truly working on what should be doing more and what should be stabilizing the rest so we're gonna go for it for y'all I want y'all to do five dips five dips one minute rest in between if you can't do five dips do one solid dip don't do one of these don't 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 do this fuck this this is this no fuck that that's not a dip bro what the fuck is that you feel me I need you to remember the, remember the struggle video go all the way down as slowly and thoroughly as possible and get yourself out get yourself out get yourself out four five if you could do five of these do this workout routine for a week or two and then you start to scale it right but if you can only do one you can only do one do one five times one good one one quality one I don't care about appearances I need quality quality assurance you heard yeah get the quality right and over time the quantity will increase but if you increase the quantity without paying attention to the quality it's like manufacturing a whole bunch of fake Jordans we don't want that we don't want the bullshit we want the top-notch primo you heard so we want primo reps you heard hashtag shiki chic primo reps you heard swag so back at it if you can only do one do this Hus. go to the depth come out relax it's all you got to do over time you're going to develop the, the strength you're going to develop the capacity and then you might be able to do two fuck it if you could do two fight fight for that shit you feel me death death range don't be afraid feel it learn to feel it so many people want to feel less in life. That's why they run to these bullshit drugs and shit like that. They want to sense less. No. Feel more. Be able to tolerate and deal with more feeling. That means you alive, bro. Too much game. Whatever you are, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Take notes. Tell your family and friends about this because this is about to be a wild ride, y'all. You dig? Word. So I'm going to do five, and then we're going to move on to the next workout. Us. Remember, tricep, spine, chest. Tricep dip, chest dip. Tricep dip, chest dip. Right? Check them out. We're going to do five. This is for beginners. One, max. Two, max. Three, do your max. If you could do five, do this workout. You can do one, two, three, do the workout. Do your max, you heard? Push your limits, you heard? And I like going for time under tension. I could go rep out, you know what I mean? But that's a different type of exercise. If you want to get muscle and you want to get strong, you need to learn how to manage that energy. So I'm going to take y'all into the push-ups. We did this a little backwards. I usually do push-ups, pull-ups, and then dips. As a matter of fact, we just gonna take them into the pull-ups. With the pull-ups, a lot of people struggle with pull-ups, right? So, the main thing about pull-ups is a compound exercise. It's gonna require some core. People think it's gonna require a lot of arms. Now check it out, there's two variations. This is a pull-up. Notice my hand, overhand grip, pronated grip. That's a pull-up. Most people, well, especially when they're not good at doing pull-ups, what they do is actually do a chin-up. So now watch my hands. Instead of having overhand, they go underhand. The underhand is easier. This is a chin-up. 
not a pull up. Although you're pulling, it's defined as a chin up. Why? Because the supinated grip or the underhand grip recruits the biceps. So when you're in a pull up position, you're really recruiting a lot of your back muscles, for example, us and your forearms. But when you reverse the grip, you recruit your biceps. So this takes a lot of the load off. So don't psych yourself out. Get good at doing pull-ups and go get, get good at doing chin-ups, you heard? So one way to build up your pull-up strength is to get your arm strength in general good enough. So get your grip strength, right? What we'll do, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever is your best, max out. Imagine you're hanging off of a cliff and you in the army and your squad is coming to rescue you and if you let go, you fall to the bottom of the canyon like the coyote and the road runner, you feel me? Don't die. Hold on for as long as you can, right? So try this, the dead hang. Us. Just hang. Try not to swing too much and feel it. I'm gonna go for 30. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30. What this also gives you a chance to do is warm up your shoulder muscles and your back muscles. So I usually do this as a warm up just to stretch and elongate my spine. You see that? Because your arms are always hanging down, right? Your arms are always going down with gravity. So it's best sometimes to just hang so you can elongate these side muscles that are really going to be, it's going to feel good, one, two, get great blood flow, three, Get you strong enough to do that so if you can't do a pull up i suggest doing those for about as long as you can just imagine you off a cliff so i'm talking and, about and bro you, get that workout you yeah. know what's up yo tap it bro tap it bro yo shout out to cuz bro from a mad days in fetty spot if you Max. wasn't with us in fetty spot don't you don't know the the fact, you don't know about the good old days yo, keep up the good work bro stay up brody so back back to the story you feel me what we gonna do is also see i like to use this because it allows me to hang right i'm a tall motherfucker but what you could do is go to a bar and jump straight to the top right and then slowly release this is gonna one get your grip strength up two awaken all the dormant and sleeping muscles that you have so i might as well take you over there because it's gonna be easier what up man it's gonna be easier for you to understand on that side so let's fast forward and take it over there real quick it's gonna make more sense for y'all so i had to jump in them pole but what you're gonna do is already be close to the bar so jump hold yourself chin over bar and then lower for five four Three, two, one. Reset, relax, right back at it. One, two, three, four, five. Relax, right back at it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh, we're gonna do two more. Puss. One, two, three, four, five. Light work. One more, bow, puss, one, two, three, four, five, relax, bow. Once you get those down, you could also practice your straight isometrics. So those were negatives, right? You were lowering from slow. But you could hold at the top for five. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, this is for the absolute beginners. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your grandmother. Get your grandmother in the park, you heard? Facts. You're gonna get it rocking, you heard? Whatever you want in the comments, your world is yours if this increases your faith in yourself, you feel me? Like I said, we do the isometrics. 
Puss. Hold the top. Some of y'all might struggle. You might see your face going below the bar. Stay chin over bar. If you can't do chin over bar, crown to bar. Work, baby, work. Yo, Sintabra, what up, cuz? Uh. <laughs> Circle back. See? This is rare as fuck, bro. This is when you a real motherfucker in your neighborhood. You a real motherfucker in the neighborhood. This is, I tagged him the other day. He ain't even comment. Yo, that what happened? I my tagged bad, you in the video. Get in the video, bro. Oh, man. Let me show a little love to my guy. Because my guy be He's the here. one. My guy he was like, he said, he said, it's 30 degrees. It's 12 degrees. And yeah, he, this is him. He got the video yes, last year. Last year, this man was out here. It was 12 to fucking degrees. He was out here putting. My son getting that money right now. It's 19 degrees out here. He got no shirt on. Check him out. Bruce Leroy, he is getting that bag, though. He said, I'm going to get that bag one way or the other. <laughs> that pain in. Back, shout out. I mean, no pain, no gain. And he ain't complaining either. I ain't see him complain. He ain't worrying about nobody's help. He don't need assistance. This is what he do. He shouts wake out. up and get right. Shout out. Period. Shout out to everybody for agreeing. Keep yeah, doing your music, bro. Six, seven love. You can go check out my new video right now with my kids. It's called Upper Magic. The link is in my bio. You already know he gonna tag me in there. Y'all can hit me and lock in. This is my brother, so love is love, man. BK, spread love is the Brooklyn way. Woo! Shouts it. out, shouts out, bro. I appreciate focused, you. man. I appreciate my you. My bro. We gonna keep it rocking. Yes, we are. Hold up. Y'all be easy. Love. So we back at it, getting these pull-ups. You feel me? Pull-up strength up. So you just practice those. You just practice those for a little bit, and you gonna make sure that you get the strength enough to do it, right? So later on in this video, we're gonna get the routine popping. But from there, a lot of people can't just pull to the top. It's better to do one. Like I said with the dips, it's better to do just one, bro. And reset. Wait a minute. And then come back and do more. Don't try to rush it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Time is not moving fast or slow for nobody. You feel me? And that person, this person, whoever's around you, their perception don't matter, bro. Your world is yours. Do not put your world in other people's hands. Do not try to meet other people's. You put your, you put people's expectations on yourself as if you could expect what they expect. And sometimes people do project bullshit on you. At the same time, you have to stay in your center. Say, I love myself. I respect myself. They are not me. I am not them. You don't know my story, and I'm gonna do what I need to do to become the better version of me. Fuck what you think. Straight up. Your world is yours. Bounce it right back at them, you feel me? You gotta learn how to be compassionate with yourself. Feel me? It's a whole vibe. It's a whole self-love. This self-love really is a complicated thing. Self-love is not doing what you feel like doing, because sometimes what we feel like doing is gonna fuck us up what you know is best to do self-love very rare is doing what you know is best to do for yourself best absolute best no detest you heard <laughs> anyway so with the pull-ups you can do one at a time start from the bottom we got the dead hang we got the isometric at the top and we got the five second lower you practice those you'll get stronger over time and you get stronger over time, you can start doing for reps. What up, Squirrely? I see you. You better chill out, Squirrely. Squirrelys be well. Be well. Anyway, back at it. So, start from the bottom. Pull yourself up. Relax. If you could do a 10 clip, do a 10 clip. You feel me? Word up. So from there, it's just easy. Two, three, four, Five. I done seen grown men that I've trained, bro, grown men, bro, go from be unable to do two push-ups, one dip, and one pull-up, shout out to Leo, to being able to do 10, 10, 10. He's doing 25 push-ups a clip right now. He's doing 25, then 10 pull-ups, and then 10 dips. That's what you want to be at. That's basic. If I look at my phone right now, and I'll Google, the percentage of Americans that are able to do five push-ups, I think that's like probably like 30%, 40%. But 20 push-ups, you in the top 15%. Word, word. 
So to be able to do 50 push-ups, 75 push-ups, put yourself in the top 5%. You feel me? I'm fucking scared to do a push-up, bro. You feel me? So anyway, we got the dead hang. We got the isometrics. Shiki Shiki, you wanna look it up? No, 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 hold on. Pause, y'all. You gotta look it up right. So for the push-up section, like I said, a lot of motherfuckers can't do a push-up. What we gonna do is get you right today, you feel me? So what you wanna be able to do is understand the dynamics of a push-up. What is a push-up? It's basically a, a floor chest press, right? You're using your, you're pressing your body. So it goes back to push, pull, push. This is the second push exercise. Dip, push, pull up, chin up, pull, right? We're pulling our weight. And then we go back to the push-up, which is us pushing, using push muscles. So what you wanna do is be able to eventually You want to be able to eventually go down and press back up, right? Down and press back up. You can see what it looks like from the front. Down and press back up, right? Down and press back up. Now, I remember being a grown man 23 years old on Hunter's basketball team. Shouts to Eric Kippen. Shouts out to Jarrell Antley. Shouts out to Matt Xavier. With love, Xavier. Go check his music out. I was unable to do a push up as a grown man. You know what I mean? But what I did was never give up and I kept my eye on the prize. I don't give a fuck what people talk about. You feel me? I care about growing. That's all I care about is growing and expanding and becoming what I'm meant to become. So that means I got to put in the work and I got to start out by being humble, right? Skip all that. Do one slow and controlled push-up. If you can't go like this, if you can't rep out, just go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Pause at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Relax and come back to the top. You feel me? That's how you get stronger over time. You just get the stability muscles, you get the secondary muscles, you get the most minute muscles involved. And wake up your nervous system. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. They call these quote unquote girl push ups, they're modified push ups. So don't be afraid to do modified push ups as well. A modified push up is where you semi plank, see the feet? See the feet? And you go down like this. See, this is gonna take a significant amount of weight off of the demand, and at the same time, give you the ability to recruit the muscles necessary to go from barely crawling to kinda walking. And once you master this efficiently, and don't be discouraged, no. Really learn how it feels. Feel the muscles that you're using. Your shoulders, your chest, your pecs, your triceps. Get your mind into the feeling. Don't allow yourself to become unpresent. The purpose of all of this is to become more present and more aware of our bodies, you feel me? So, a lot of people when they work out, they'll like zone out and start thinking about some other shit. Keep your mind in your body. Keep your mind inside of your body. And the more you start to feel, and the more that you wanna go away from your body, that's when you focus more on the feeling. It's gonna be quote unquote painful, but that's just the sensation of being alive. Quote Shiki Shiki on that. Anyway, you wanna be able to do five push-ups. If you can't do a push-up in this form, right? And really, it's not gonna feel easy at first. It's gonna feel crazy. But you have to push yourself to the depth. Push yourself beyond what you believe, and then eventually you'll achieve it. What I want you to do is if you can't do that, you're gonna do these. What you're gonna need to do, if you can't do it on a 180 degree plane, which is flat across, you know, perpendicular to the floor, um, or parallel to the floor, excuse me, what you wanna do is start out up top. The point is to recruit the muscles. The point, the point is to recruit the muscles necessary. It's not about moving your weight. It's about learning what muscles we're actually using to create the force and to move whatever weight that we're moving. 
So if that means if you can't do a push-up where you are parallel to the ground at 180 degrees, what you need to do is now change the leverage to take off more weight. So a very, 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 very beginner, like absolute beginner, I recommend doing these. Do about 10 to 15 of these, where now instead of being 180 degrees and flat with the earth, what you're gonna do is create an elevated situation where it takes a lot of load off, but you get to learn how to recruit the necessary muscles to contribute to the force and to manipulate the weight. So what you're gonna do is not focus on just repping out and doing the movement, but like I say, keep your mind inside of your body and understand how to recruit specific muscles to contribute to the weight. Pay attention to what is being used and activated. By doing so, you will create a higher mind-muscle connection, a better level of intentionality, and a better level of self-understanding, internal awareness that will eventually translate into bodily proficiency. Verb, that's what we're going for, bodily proficiency. So with the push-up, primarily you want to be using your chest, right? How we get that big chest, that's how we get that big chest, you heard? Get that big chest, I mean? But, you are, it's a compound move. Compound move meaning it's not isolated. It uses a bunch of different muscles. So even when you're in push-up position, you're using your shoulders. It's like with a bench press. When you bench press, a lot of people who bench press a lot got good front delts. This is the delt, the front of the shoulder. It gets bigger because it's also being used. You can understand even like your scapula, the back of your muscles, in between your shoulder blades when you push down. Last thing, your triceps, your arm muscles. But the primary muscle that's taking the load is the chest. So remember that, bow, bow. Once you get a little bit more advanced, what you could do is, so once you get comfortable doing it at the higher angle, you start to decrease the angle, right? So now you can go to 30 degrees, right? I'm a little afraid to hit my face on this, but let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm being very mindful not to hit my face on this metal. But once you're done doing those, you get back on the ground. The kids are watching, yes. Learn and study how to be a better human one day. Boom. Boom. And then you'll evolve. So now, I'm about to take y'all into the workout. We're gonna do five, five, five times five. And once you master that, you can, can no longer consider yourself a super duper noob, you're still gonna be a noob, but consider yourself a little bit more advanced than you were before. So master this and come back. Now these workouts aren't gonna get you to be diced and to get the aesthetic that you truly want. If you want the true aesthetic, tap in, get on the YWI coaching program where we focus on muscle development, fat loss, and getting people in the best physical shape of their lives. Strength development, all of that. You know what's up? Five, 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 like dominoes, but you know, we ain't no dominoes, you heard? So, word up, you feel me? <laughs> word up. Ah. We're gonna do five, five, five. Five, 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 five and 10. Y'all take y'all time, you feel me? So the goal <laughs> for y'all is to do this in 20 minutes. 30 minutes maximum. Keep the intensity up, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm gonna try to do this in 10 minutes I feel like I should shoot for five, but let's not go crazy. Let's just keep it modest for the beginners, and we're gonna keep it rocking. So, I'm gonna start the time. When it says 10 seconds, I'm gonna begin. Three, two, one. Nice. 
One, two, three, four, five. Light work. Woo. Definitely finish five of these. I'm gonna definitely finish five of these. Ah, don't count. Two, three, four, five. They work. Man, right in it. Us. Two, three, four, five. We have one minute and 20 seconds. I'm gonna finish five, 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 you feel me? In five minutes. But for y'all, take y'all time and make sure y'all learn the movement and channel your spirit within your vessel. Create that mind-body connection. Five, five, five. Us. One, two, three. Four, five. Light work, bro. This should be light work for any man, bro. At the end of the day. You feel me? Dips used to be my worst. Uh. Uh. One, two, three, four, uh. five. Light work. Us. Five. Night work, bro. That's three. That's three. See, I got enough time to put some music on. I'll put some music on. Oh, yeah. That's three sets, right? I think that's three sets. Hush. Five. It's the five, five, five for beginners. Five, five, five for beginners. You all right? Woo! Warm up. Death. Two. Three. Four. Ugh. Five. Motherfucker been out here every day. Every day, you all right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. Oh, my I got mad time, bro. I think I did four sets. I think I did four sets. It's supposed to be fifth set. I'm gonna go this way so y'all can see the four. Yes, sir. Death. Two, three, four, five. Yes, sir. Cheeky Chic is a legend. Don't forget that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that. Share that, you feel me? Cheeky Chic, whatever you are, your world is yours. Don't forget that. Power yourself daily. Let's get it. This was my worst. We getting it. That work. Finish strong. Two. Three. Four. Five. Under five. We did it in under five. Listen, it's going to take some of y'all 20 minutes to do that. 
It's gonna take some of y'all 30 minutes to do that. Don't try to match me. You gotta learn how to match yourself. Match and supersede yourself. It's not about the next person, but if you see the next person is able and capable, use that as inspiration, as in a template. Don't go into competition. Just become more resourceful and inspired within yourself to improve your own capabilities. Your world is yours. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. For workout programs, custom workout programs, custom nutrition coaching, and mindset coaching, click the link in the description. This first video is gonna have a secret code, YWI 101. Use it at checkout, you get 25% off all packages up to the three month, the one month and the three month. Don't forget, your world is yours. If you wanna get to this growth, you gotta make sure you wanna get to the growth and nothing else. It's not about the look, it's about the growth. The more you grow, the more you will look grown. Don't try to look grown and don't try to skip the growth. A lot of people try to look a certain way but skip the work. Do the work and you'll look like you put in work. Skip the work, you're gonna look like you skipped the work. Basic law and a cause and effect, you feel me? That said, your world is yours. I appreciate y'all. More content coming soon.